Hi, I'm Aaron Bowman. I'm uh, an agronomist with uh, Pioneer as, as a sales rep. Um, we also farm with my family and uh, yeah, we live here in Hampton, Ontario. As an agronomist and, and a seed rep, what we're looking to do is, is basically tailor the variety that best suits their needs. So if they're livestock, then we're, we're going to tailor it to, to perform and to meet the, the renewed nutrition requirements of, of their livestock. And if they're a cash cropper, then they're looking for yield and to maximize that uh, either through drying costs and, uh, and production, production costs. So as a seed rep, uh, basically my job is always a year forward. So the farmers will meet, we'll sit down, we'll talk about what their goals are, and we'll select varieties in November, December of 2021 for them to grow in the spring of 2022. Fast forward, now we're in the spring of 2022. You're delivering seed, planting plots. So plots are the new varieties that are coming out. We're analyzing, looking at it, and finding out what the new varieties what their pros, cons, and are they gonna replace what we already have in the field. Um, again, as an agronomist, now we're walking the fields. We're looking for pests, we're looking for nutrition or, or, um, or fertility issues, and we're also making those recommendations so that that crop will have the best chance it can for the fall harvest. In the, in the fall, obviously we're harvesting, and uh, hopefully we've done everything correct and mother nature's played right, then, uh, then we, we have a good harvest. What drove me into it most likely is I always had a desire for plants. I, I was raised on a dairy farm, but I always found myself uh, gravitating towards uh, the, the agronomy end or the plants end of it. Um, like I said, I went off to University of Guelph. I started working for a, a retailer there, and that continued to instill that idea that I really enjoy working with growers. I really enjoy science, and this was kind of a nice happy medium between the two. I could, I could understand science and bring it back down to the, the field level and uh, I really enjoyed doing that. Depending what sector you are or what component of the agronomy you're in, um, you either need to have a good personality if you're in sales, and uh, if you're more into the t technical or the science part, then you gotta have that, that uh, characteristic to be able to see, observe, and notice things that are out of, out of, uh, out of tune or whatever you wanna say, and uh, have the background to understand what's going on. So that'd be the science background. So I'd, I'd say there's kind of two paths depending on what you're in, or they gotta intersect like me and be a salesman and agronomist. So there's definitely uh, varying levels of education you need. Personally, myself, I probably went to the high end. Uh, so I did my BSc in uh, plant biology with a minor in molecular biology and genetics. And then I continued on and did my master's in uh, plant agriculture with uh, a minor or a continuous focus in classical plant breeding. Um, to be an agronomist, you could use a diploma. You can use basically any form of education. You could even get a mentor. So maybe, maybe college or university is not your thing. Who knows? Uh, even if you found a mentor that could train you and, and, and expose you to the pests and all the fertility issues that we need to be looking at as agronomists, that's also an option too, with a later maybe going to college or going off to university to, to continue that science base that you're, you've been, been given as a platform. I guess the part that I like about my job the most is, uh, is seeing the reward at the end of the year when they harvest. When we've, we've looked at their yield maps, we've, we've analyzed their fertility program, we've controlled pests or, or other fungi or, or pathogens that could have been there, and just seeing the grower be able to, to harvest a great crop, that is, I find very rewarding.